My name is Folu Ogunke, and some people know me as Folu Storms. I'm a traveler, presenter, lover of music, adventure, and all things African. So I found a way to combine all these things. Join me as I discover the new Africa. This time, we're heading to Kampala in Uganda. Africa, this is where I call home. And my mother, and her mother, and her mother's mother. It is the motherland. But when I see images of Africa, they are always the same. War-torn, hungry, poor. This is not the whole story of where I come from. The truth is, for myself and most young Africans, we experience our land in an entirely different way. So I'm setting out on a journey, in fact, a quest, to show you the continent that we know and love. And so we begin our tale to reveal the new Africa. Oh, hi there. Let me fill you in on what's been happening so far. So I came up with this crazy idea to travel Africa, not just eating strange foods, chill now, or just going on safari because that alone is boring, but to check out African cities. Oh, wait, I'm being rude, I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Folu, and you are following me on my journey to Kampala in Uganda. Better sit up because we're about to land. The crew and I landed in Entebbe in Uganda, where the international airport is. And we are tired after a long flight, but excited to check out the place. It takes about 30 minutes to drive from Entebbe to Kampala. So the first Ugandan we meet properly is our amazing driver, Emmanuel. Trust me when I say this, drivers make the best city guides. In Kampala, Mr. Emmanuel. How you doing? Fine, how are you doing? Cool, I'm good. I'm excited to be here. Yes, it's my first time. Okay, welcome to Uganda. <laughs> Our first stop has to be the hotel, and we've chosen to go budget this time at least. Our choice is Hotel Rouge. Now let me take a moment to point out that I have never been to Uganda before, so there are some real nerves when I was thinking about just how budget this hotel would be. Therefore, finding rooms that were beautiful and spacious, amazing gardens and great balcony views, Hotel Rouge was not looking so bad for under $100. Anyways, enough with the hotel, it's time to hit the streets and food is the number one thing on my mind, I can't even lie. When I arrived in Kampala, basically, I started asking a lot of questions about food because I wanted to know what a typical Ugandan meal was or what Ugandans would typically eat. Now, something that everyone said to me was, go and get a Rolex. A Rolex, you say? Now, Ugandans don't wear Rolexes, they eat it. And that's what this is. This is a Rolex, so we're going to try it out really quickly. It's supposed to be chapati and eggs. And I don't, it's massive, and I'm really afraid. I'm gonna go right to the heart of this and see what it's like. Here is two Ugandan Rolex. Mm. Mm. Not bad. It's definitely a bit carbohydrate And definitely a breakfast meal. Not quite my thing. I don't think I'm gonna be sold over by the Rolex, so let's try something else that Ugandans typically do. I am a coffee fiend. Haters might even call me an addict. Pfft, whatever. Coffee also happens to be a top export in Uganda. So if you ever visit, make sure to stop by a thousand cups of coffee. 
It is the cutest coffee house on Buganda Road, and there you will find citizens from all over the world sharing their love for a good cup of joe. With the cute coffee haven behind me and some pep in my step, I make a beeline for the market to get my shopping on. Introducing the world famous Exposure Crafts Market, also on Buganda Road. Across the way from the most delicious cup of coffee you've ever had is the coolest arts and crafts store that you will come across, or should I say market in Kampala. This is Exposure, so let's go check it out. I need to buy a few things, you know, for people. Hi, Dad. No, no one is going to pay me for this. I can't really play that instrument. I like this bag. How much you say it was again? I would get it. <laughs> I wish the earring was like this long. Uh, yeah, think of, it'd be so cool. Think about it. You should do that. Somebody will buy it. And see, and then you'll remember your friend from Nigeria and you'll be like, oh, yeah, son made Nigeria. money. Yes. <laughs> should get them like that and like that. Yeah, There's two earrings. Like Very elegant. It's cool. Dropping from here. Dropping yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's perfect. Sure you should. These are perfect earrings. So when you're going out for a fancy event, yeah, yeah, yeah. put that on. When I got to Kampala, I immediately hooked up with an old friend from uni, Jules, who also happens to be an amazing fashion designer and the creative mind behind fashion label Quesh. She introduced me to super talent Kemi Yondo and we met up to discuss the theatre arts and festivals of Uganda over drinks. Gay? Do I look like I'm, I'm from Africa? No! Y'all, every time we come up in here, y'all try to act like you dirty and stupid or something, but you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Excuse you! No, excuse you! Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, I can see that, but can't you see those are contaminated? Take them back! We therefore recommend that from now on you practice abstinence, but please, <laughs> if you must, please protect others. Here are three condoms. Sorry, we have run out. <laughs> it's a very talented and extremely beautiful Kemiondo Kutino. She is an actor, playwright, and is currently responsible for the Nouveau Arts Festival going on right here in Kampala, Uganda. Kemi, what's up? Hey! That's good. I feel like you should be Nigerian because your name is I Kemi. know. You know, people always ask me my name, if I'm Nigerian, sometimes I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honorary, <laughs> honorary, it's fine. So tell us, so what is, what is the Nouveau Arts Festival? How did that so, start? So, uh, the Nouveau Arts Festival, Nouveau, firstly, is an abbreviation for New Voices. And I was really interested in bringing new ways of storytelling, new ways of addressing uh, social themes. And so this year our theme is HIV AIDS, no statistics allowed. Uh, both my parents work with HIV and AIDS and uh, I recently wrote a one woman show where I interviewed a lot of HIV positive women. And in listening to their stories, I'm like, why don't I know about this? Because what became apparent to me was HIV was such a small part of the bigger picture. Uh, HIV was more of a result of our societal beliefs, of our societal pressures. In interviewing these women, I really wanted to, to share stories of real, real stories to do with HIV as opposed to numbers, and so, ta-da! Wow, that is powerful, yeah. that's pretty cool. So there's a play that's supposed to be telling a little bit yes. of this story, what, what is that play about? So, uh, when I performed in the Grahamstown National Arts Festival, the first time I performed, I watched these uh, two actors, Danai Gurira and Nicole Salter, uh, perform in the play that you're going to see tonight in the continuum. And I was so taken back by the beauty and the way they told the story because I had never heard a story like that. They're really painting the faces and stories behind the numbers that we see. And so I never felt uh, ready enough in terms of my craft to take the play on because I love it so much. But this year I felt, yes, I can take it on. And so that's what we're gonna do till the end. It's so funny. It's more funny than tragic, really. Yeah. I was so impressed by Kemi that when she told me about two other dynamic fashion entrepreneurs who happened to be set in the heart of the city, I decided to pay them a visit. Welcome to Bold, fashion store of the East. The concept behind the store 
was to give a platform to local designers. But our aim now is obviously to go regional. We wanted to be African, so Uganda, Tanzania, Nairobi, uh, Kigali, Burundi, yeah. My hope for the Fashion Miss Uganda is that we, people will continue, that this is not just a phase, people will continue to support, that we will continue to support our own, that we will continue to appreciate uh, products and merchandise and clothing that's made in Uganda. Personally feel what's happening so far is very impressive and my hope would be that the, the designers in Uganda continue to pave the way and put Ugandan, the Ugandan fashion industry on the map because um, there's a lot of talent and a lot of creativity and hard work. How driven are these ladies? I love the selection of designers at Bold, which made me sad to leave but it was getting late, so I had to go. After getting something to eat, I discovered that my Ugandan people don't waste any time when it comes to a party, which made me check out these guys that we ran into nice and early, kicking things off in a parking lot. Totally love it. Just finished having dinner, we bump into these cool cats blasting some crazy music out here. You guys have to tell me, what are your names? What are your names? All right, I'm called Bliss. Jamie. You're my god, Sami. Yeah, so what are you guys doing out here? Are you from Uganda? Yeah, I'm from Chigali, and I've been in Kampala for like 20 years, right? 20 years, right? 20 years? Where are you from? Kampala. You're from Kampala. Hey, so she's yeah. the local. And I'm from Nigeria, so we're just hanging out here having a cool time. What is the coolest thing to do at night in Kampala? That's what we want to know. You know, let me tell you something about Kampala. Kampala is all about earning. As long as you're earning, you spend your money. In Kampala, when you're broke, you stay home. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see we're all out tonight. Tonight is a Saturday. We all having a good time, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kampala is all about earning. When you earn, you spend. When you make that paper, you have a good life. Ah, so you are making big money. That's Kampala, Uganda, straight East African. And we own Lake Victoria. These guys are like Omo Lewis guys. I need to rock with these guys. So if you're earning, you need to spend your money. Yeah. And that's how we roll in Kampala. Ain't so no where are we going tonight? So you heard what he said about spending money, but as they say, when in Rome, so I followed my newfound friends to an outdoor nightclub called Panamera. This is not your typical nightclub scene. No, no, no. It is nightlife as you can only find it in Africa. From fresh baked chapatis to barbecued meats, and most important of all, cheap drinks. All enjoyed in the great outdoors. It's crazy out here, Panamera. Grabbed another guy here. We have Marcus. How you doing, Marcus? Very well, thanks. How you doing? I'm very well, thank you very much. Marcus here is an OAP, an honor personality. You work on radio, is that correct? Yes. So now, as a radio guy, you clearly know the happening spots and where to go. Is that why you're here tonight? Yes, yes. Panamera is one of the... What I love about it is the open space. It's the open feel. It's like, it's like hanging in a guy's parking lot. It's so cool. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And you know, you can... And this space. Nothing beats hanging out in space. It's so cool. I don't know how they've kept it going, but I think it's like the cheap drinks and the shisha and maybe the vibe. It's nice. It's really nice. It's not fast, true, fall. See, all these jokes ain't funny anymore. When they make hate, but it ain't sunny anymore. I never want to... There was just something about that place that made me feel happy to be alive. Anywho's, the next day I head out of Kampala towards a town called Jinja. Several things make Jinja a good place to visit. Other than being the second largest town in Uganda, it also has a very rich history. The very source of the River Nile can be found here. And where the lake and river meet, you'll find so much life on their banks and rocks. It's beautiful. I may be a city girl, but nature always humbles and inspires me. Like a spring. So we're at the source of the river now, which is exciting. I plan on getting very involved. And it's cold. Oh, it's cold. It's good. 
good, Paul. I'm going to take off my watch. Yeah. Uh -huh. And here we are. Look at him. Of course. That's the way. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Honestly, because of the stories and the history of the River Nile, I had to get in the water. Because who knows? It could be the fountain of youth. <laughs> and I plan to look young forever. <laughs> Once the sightseeing is done, it's time to face the main reason I came to Ginger. And that is to tick something off my bucket list. Bungee jumping. Okay, it's time for a little confession. I have a fear of heights. I'm strapped in. Thanks to lovely Kenneth, who <laughs> strapped me in. Sitting in this chair, looking around, it's beautiful here though. So, it's a good place to do my first jump. I think it's gonna be exciting. I would be a liar if I said I wasn't nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> but it's good, so I'm not gonna dilly dally, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna do it now. Okay. So you're ready to fly? Ready to fly. Okay. So what's gonna happen clarify. in a moment? Mm -hmm. I told you my knees lock up. My brain freezes. I feel something bordering on a mental breakdown when I'm just two stories up. So I don't know why I'm doing this. But somehow, years of watching Hollywood have convinced me to face my fears. So today, we shall see. My jumping and thinking. They're not, they're not best friends. Okay. Switch off the fear and remember you're very safe. All the equipment you see, they're stupidly strong. At least 10 times stronger than we need, okay? Oh so nothing to worry about safety. We'll look after you, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's do one thing at a time. Give me another. Now what to do? Shuffle, shuffle. Small steps okay. like a penguin. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Remember the golden lock. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Keep coming. Okay. Duck under. Come under. Oh, Man, let me oh, hold wait, on to wait, you. Wait, 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 no, no, you're wait, good, Ada. Ada, listen wait. to me. Yeah. I've been doing this for the last 14 years. I know how you're feeling, yeah. but I promise you go to and go this. So let's do one thing at a time. You're not going yet. Jack underneath those legs and shuffle, shuffle. I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. Two and up and reach up for the roof. What the ones? I've got you, Ada. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 Okay. Trust me, okay. I'm not gonna push you. Okay. Can you sh just... And of course, during all my hesitation, a crowd had gathered to watch. So the pressure was on. I couldn't disappoint. Three, two, one, ready! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Rick's on. <laughs> Not liking it. <laughs> so, I just did the Nile High bungee jump in Uganda at Ginger. I'm still shaking. <laughs> uh, it's officially the scariest thing I've ever done in my whole life. The rush was incredible. It was unreal. But please, let me just tell you something. They all lied. The movies lied. The fear is real and you will still experience it after you jump. Yeah. Thanks, Hollywood. Thanks for nothing. That being said and done, it was time for me to calm down and unwind a little. So I set off for the Kampala Serena Hotel, which has some of the finest surroundings available in this city. No visit to any country is ever complete without stopping to sample the country's finest. 
And so I'm at the Serena Hotel. <laughs> Now, after having a delicious drink at the restaurant, it only makes sense to find the pool to chill, because that's how we like to do it. Hello. Good evening. The Kampala Serena Hotel has a variety of features that make it world class. But what I loved the most was the serene environment. It was the best place to relax, I'm telling you, whether as a guest of the hotel or just simply stopping by. And if you know the song, you feel comfortable to sing along because it has very uh, simple, simple words, yeah? Then I found a great way to round up my day with some live music at Mishmash. It was the perfect end to an incredible day. Good morning, guys! It's my final day in Kampala and I'm hitting the road again. But this time, I'm going to Lake Victoria. But first, I have to make a quick cash stop because you know how it goes. Run out of money again. After a bit of driving, it becomes necessary to make a food stop. Oh, where are my manners? I'm being rude again. Let me introduce you to Moses, the founder of organic brand Jali, and our tour guide around Lake Victoria. Moses, to me, is someone who epitomizes where Africa is heading and where it should be heading. Because after inheriting a whole island, he decided to create work and a source of income for the people who live there. Needless to say, going on this trip with him was a pretty fitting way to end my time in Kampala. My background is I'm a filmmaker. Um, but I've sort of dabbled in sort of social enterprise in Uganda and in the UK. I started up a brand called Jali Organic, which basically is working with smallholder farmers in Uganda uh, on an island on Lake Victoria, and we're producing dried fruits um, that are being sold to Japan and various other export markets. And it's basically the best dried fruit on the planet. <laughs> it seriously is. We have awards. We've won awards and everything for it. The advice I'd give to other Africans wanting to affect Africans in a positive way is to um, be single-minded in, in, in many ways and to have a thick skin because it, it's the biggest challenge you'll come across is people telling you that it can't be done. And, and so really, I think every time somebody tells you it can't be done, think of a way that it can be and the reasons why it needs to be done rather than to, to give up. And I think giving up is probably the worst thing you can do. Um, so. Stay strong and keep going. And as the sun sets on this stunning lake, it's time for me to leave. And I cannot think of a more perfect ending. A few days will never be enough to fully understand a country, but it is enough time to fall in love with it. Uganda is a beautiful surprise every step of the way with smiling faces, stunning views, and nature all around you. What's not to love? My name is Fonu, and this 
is the new Africa. Hey, what's up, guys? They call me DJ Spinner, AKA The Cap. You enjoyed the video you just watched? Please, please subscribe and Danny TV. Just click below and subscribe, and you can watch more amazing videos.